And this actually might actually fit in your shoe. Wouldn't that be nice? David Johnson Foot issues. meets those in need where they're at. Just because you're kind of on the move all day. Let me know if it's too tight as I'm doing it, okay? Alrighty. Or a home in Minnetonka. It looked really good today, Doug. Mm, that ear looks good. Even a semi-truck in Scott County. Let's see how some socks do. The sores are a reality of the struggle Nicole Claremont faces day in and day out. Really deep blisters on my feet. She walks everywhere, going nowhere. The 37-year-old is homeless and she's hurting. Torture. Everything she owns fits into this backpack. Claremont lives and sleeps wherever she lands after dark. I'm really kind of lost at what's going on. Just because every day is so different when I walk out in the streets. And somewhere between 20 and 30 times this year, home for a few hours was here. I understand you had an injury today. The emergency room. First time you came to Hennepin? In fact, she's still wearing the wristband from last night's visit. Some of her wounds are readily visible, others gradually surface. Her pain is physical and emotional, and it's common. You know, I was slowly suffocating to death. Carol Rivera has congestive heart failure. You listen to your heart. She lost her job, her insurance, and couldn't afford a doctor's visit. Sure, you bet. Whether underinsured or folks like Doug Jessen. Minnesota injury with a slip and fall on the ice. Jessen can't walk, much less drive to a clinic. That's just one example. Dr. Mike Wilcox has treated all sorts of conditions in the ER over 40 plus years. He created a program for Hennepin County which targeted high risk and chronically ill patients. Good job. Who yes. were regulars in the ER. Good improvement. Now community paramedics come to them. I enjoy dealing with people in a time of crisis. CPs aren't just for emergencies. They don't show up in an ambulance. They drive cars to house calls set up through clinics. It keeps them in their home and a lot of patients that I've seen over the years when we take them out in their whole homes it exacerbates their whole uh, illness. We are affirming that essential truth. The need to do something different came after hospitals realized due to the Affordable Care Act they would be fined if a person on Medicare had to be treated for the same condition within one month of being discharged. If we could deal with patient care needs before they'd ever end up in crisis in an emergency room because they haven't taken their drugs, because they couldn't afford them. The kind of dilemmas that brought first responders to Harbor Lights Homeless Shelter a lot. Visits increased 300% over five years. That ambulance ride and treatment in the ER can run an average of $20,000 versus a CP visit, which cost a fraction of that, $200. And if a patient isn't insured, the cost of care is covered by hospitals, funded with taxpayer dollars. There's a ton of gaps in health care and we're just trying to fill some of those gaps that people fall into. These health care organizations started sending paramedics to patients on a regular basis. We're here to help people help themselves, not necessarily do everything for them. I would probably consider it a life-changing difference. Uh, they're part of the village that needs to be here to, to help our folks through their lives. Sometimes care is making sure someone simply takes their medicine. I'm here every night until Monday. For 15 minutes, Evalante received medical attention, a pair of socks, and had a friend. When I saw David, I just, I knew he was safe and that he wouldn't hurt me. We can tell a lot about them very quickly and help make some decisions whether um, we can, we need to go down the route of let's send them to the hospital. In the first year of the program at Harbor Lights, there's been a 25% drop in the number of runs to the ER. Almost a godsend. It allows us to fix problems, allows us to deal with people on a long-term basis. To Rivera of Prior Lake, get open a bit. being able to see a CP on a regular basis means everything. I was, I felt so alone because I had no doctor. I couldn't get my meds and I thought, now what do I do? There are skeptics, folks who worry CPs will eliminate home health care jobs or insurance companies that don't recognize and don't reimburse visits. It's not a money maker, it's a money saver and all of that comes on the back end. Just thank God for them. I don't know what I would do without them. 